confidential Foreign Office circulars in 1985 quoted Sir Joe Bossano reportedly saying that, in his view, independence was the only way to deal with decolonization. The officials writing the report suspected Sir Joe was bringing the matter up as an electoral tool. The Foreign Office widely believed that Sir Joe Bossano wasn't sure how Spain would react to his views on independence, but he thought that it would send shivers down some people's spines and that he would be considering it at the following elections. Sir Joe Bossano was quoted in the documents as saying that the matter of Gibraltar's future was one for discussion exclusively between the UK and Gibraltar, and interference from Spain would be comparable to Britain discussing India's independence with China. In an interview ahead of GBC's Viewpoint, Sir Joe said his reference to independence had been in the context of suggesting that it couldn't be ruled out just because Spain said it wasn't on the cards. It's whether we choose to exercise that right or we choose free association or we choose to integration or we choose the fourth option that was discovered by us in the 1990s but had been there since the 1970s. It's a matter for what the people decide is in their best interest. But the, I think the Foreign Office found me a credible advocate of independence, whether I was advocating it or not, simply because I acted more independently of them than anybody had done before me in opposition, and the same is true after 1988 in government. In the House of Commons, Labour MP David Young, a member of the old parliamentary group for Gibraltar, tabled questions for Margaret Thatcher's government on whether it would consider independence for Gibraltar. In further Foreign Office internal memos, now made public, an official speculated that Mr Young's interest in independence was probably inspired by the comments of Mr. Bossano, who bitterly opposes the Brussels Agreement.